Hi YouTube, this is Natural Normal Nay, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get to the very root cause of an issue that you could be experiencing person in your personal life, in a relationship, in your career. Like, you can use this anywhere. Okay. I got this technique for my job. We use this to solve issues that could be occurring at a customer site or internally inside the workplace. And, you know, we basically want to make sure we have a good quality product. But if something is stopping us from doing that, we need to figure out why and put in the correct measures to make sure we can always sustain a good quality product. And I was like, hmm, how can I apply this to my personal life? And as everybody knows, I am on this weight loss journey and I feel like I have a hard time trying to focus and, you know, make sure I'm eating the right food, working out. Like if I have a long busy week, I tend to be stressed out and fall back and eat horribly. And I want to get out of that cycle. And I feel like there's a lot of things that I need to uncover. So we're going to use this technique, it's called the 5Y analysis and I'm going to treat myself like I'm a business that is writing another business a request for corrective action. If you don't know what a corrective action is, it is what we would do in order to improve the quality and going to read off the definition. It consists of improvements to an organization's processes taken to eliminate causes of non-conformities or other undesirable situations. For instance, my weight currently is undesirable. What can I do to fix it? And once I fix it, how can I put in measures to make sure I do not get to this weight again? So we're gonna work through this. Hopefully it's not a long video, but if it is, hey, it's some real, real stuff and you can use this. I'm pretty sure not maybe maybe not with your weights, probably with your finances, probably with anything that you have an issue trying to maintain or hitting a goal. So I will leave a link to where you can download this in the description box below. And if you want me to pretend like I'm a business giving you a corrective action, I'm pretty sure we can work something out. So stay tuned to this video and you will see my screen. Okay, everybody, we're going to go into my root cause or my 5Y analysis. Problem statement is I am overweight. Okay, well, I am overweight. That is it. Just keep it simple. Um, so estimated total business costs. When you do estimated total business costs, and actually I'm going to change this to personal wide cost um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a financial measure okay so the cost of me being overweight is me having emotional and physical stress I of course pay money to gym memberships over the course of the years and then I buy clothes that I can't wear. So of course, there's just money sitting in my closet, right? And right now, we're not going to write in our recommended solution and lace and issues. So far, so far, you have your problem statement, which is I am overweight, or I am in debt, I'm in debt, or I am not confident about myself, whatever it is. Put that as your problem statement. Now you have to go to your step one. Why? What is your first why question? Why am I overweight? Start off like that. So if you're gonna answer this question, okay? You wanna put as many details as you can in this section right here to sell. And then you're gonna have your evidence. What evidence do you have? And then you're going to state your solution to what you can immediately fix this level right here. Since I started working at the age of 16, my weight has taken a back seat. Evidence of this would be my continuous weight gain since working at Burger King, which I did at 16. If you watched my previous video or one of my previous videos, you would know that. And then I also had that freshman 50 in college. And then um, on top of that, I had three pregnancies that contributed to my weight gain. 
along with stress immediately what can i do i already know what my answer is my health has taken the back seat i need to make it a priority so now what we're going to do is take your answer and state that as a why question so why has my health taken a back seat and this is called a five why analysis because you typically do this for five levels but if you feel that you need to dig deeper and deeper you can go as many levels as you can um, you can even split this out if you feel like you got multiple answers for one question I'm gonna keep it simple for you okay because I feel like mine is kind of dry cuts right now um, but as I go on, I might figure out there's other issues that I need to work on or figure out, you know, figure out the root causes of, of those issues. All right. So why has my health health taken the back seat? And my response to this is my time was spent on other activities. Okay. And so the evidence of these other activities, which necessarily it doesn't mean that it's, as, it's not important or they are not important, but I'm just saying that I had other things going on where I could not focus on my health as much. So like I have, I have a family, right? I've put a lot of focus and I prioritize them over a lot of things. Um, I also work jobs and have businesses. And on top of that, I, you know, was I am a very independent type of person, so a lot of stuff depends on me. So I can't, at that expense, I can't focus on my health. All right. So the solution to this is five ways to prioritize the importance of my health over other things, because at the end of the day. If I am not healthy and I'm not here, who is going to take care of my kids? Who is going to work my jobs the way I work them? And who is just going to bring in my vibes, my energy into everything that I do? No one but myself. So if I'm not here to do that because my health is lacking, everything else kind of goes, you know, down the down the drain, right? Honestly, before we move on to this next step, I kind of want to tweak this answer. My time was spent on other activities that I thought were more important. All right, so the next question would be, why did I think that those other activities were more important? And honestly, up until like a couple years ago, I did not really know how important my health is. Okay, so that's my answer. And evidence of this would be, like I would rather go spend time with my family, go to cookouts, and even if I was on a diet, I would be like, oh, forget that diet, I'm going to eat this um, pork and drink all this alcohol, or I would like neglect my workout routine if, if friend or someone would call up and say hey you want to go do this or do that like I was just dish my health my health activities for other things so my solution to this answer right now is that I need to continually educate myself on my health and what I can do to improve my health okay, so now I'm going to take this answer and pose it as a question so, I can't really say that I didn't really know or understood because I had health class. I went to the doctor. I was continuously told how my health was. I just did not care. Okay, so I'm going to change it. This would be raw and truthful. I didn't care. I was just like, oh, well. Oh, well. All right, so why did I not care about how important my health is? And my response to this question is because I had too many other things to care about. And before I go further, I just want to say that before doing this root cause analysis, which is really what it's called, my simple uh, response 
to this question why am i overweight is because i just did not have time so just remember that my first response is that i did not have time and i have two other things too many other things i need to focus on okay so yeah so as level four my answer is i had too many other things to care about evidence of this is working multiple jobs I was a single mom at a time at one point in time. And then I take I take the load of everything. And I'm just gonna leave it like that. So my solution to this is one, I need to limit my responsibilities, which is gonna be hard to do, but that's what I need to do. And um as needed, I need to learn to delegate. So if I feel like I'm taking on more than what I should be taking on, which is something I need to really focus on figuring that out. I need to be, say, hey, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? Yes, at the end of the day, if somebody else is, you know, they're taking on too many responsibilities for themselves, I'm pretty sure they don't have any problem asking me to, you know, to take on and help them out with something. And that's okay for them. But I need to realize that, hey, I got my own responsibilities and I can't take on other people's responsibilities. And even with the responsibilities I have, I need to know when is when enough is enough. Okay? All right, so on to why do I have too many other things to care about? My response to this is like, Okay, I would pick up other responsibilities even if they weren't my own because I care about what other people think and I was trying to make them happy. And that's just the type of person I am. And evidence of this is, yeah, I would say like the amount of people that come in and out of my life and I just allow them to. Like, the reason why they might go out of my life is because I might have to know about something and then like they'll try to get back in good and then I'll let them back in thinking like, oh, maybe they're changed or no, they won't hurt me again anymore. Then I might do something else that was foul. And I'm like, oh, nope. Mm -mm. Then they come in and out, in and out. And then when they do come back in, I try to overextend myself because I'm thinking that, oh, if I overextend myself, maybe they won't treat me so bad. And no, I'm not doing that no more. Sorry. No. Nope. Mm -mm. All right, so my solution for that is I need to detach in a healthy way. It's not bad to detach, but I need to do that. And I need to learn what truly makes me happy. So why do I care about what other people think? Okay. And why do I try to make them happy? Okay, I can add that on if I would answer that right now because I'm trying to keep it to just one question per level. But if I wanted to, I can like branch this out into two different levels. You'll see. So like, well, like, I guess I put other people's happiness first. And my response to this is because I feel rewarded and maybe I have a dependency on making others happy and even some strong evidence of this would be maybe the multiple gifts and maybe the cost of the gifts that I would give to other people and I would hardly get anything back in return my solution for this is that I would need to concentrate and focus on what makes me happy. And I'm gonna try to type out some examples because I know what kind of makes me happy, but I feel like it's kind of like on a surface level, but the more I detach, I would find out more ways that makes me happy. I feel like I love gifts, treating myself. I love vacations. I love having just time to myself. When I do my detox baths, you know, with my candle lit, it just really sets me for the mood that I want to be in. 
All right, so last question. Why do I feel rewarded and have a dependency on making others happy? When I first did this run through, I did not want to have to say what really came to my first mind because I was so thoughtful about what the person or people would think if I said this about them because it's not like I want the I don't want to paint a negative light or make them feel wrong but it's just that this is just the way I feel and this is what I need to put down to help me understand why I am the way I am so why do I feel rewarded and have a dependency on making others it dates back to childhood I'm just gonna say back in the day, I would do things such as get good grades, do activities, certain activities, um, because I wanted to make others smile and I didn't want it to be seen, didn't want to be seen as a thorn. I wanted to conform. I didn't want to rock any boats. Um, I, don't think I would go into a deeper story time right now because I feel like there's still a lot that I need to uncover at this level but I'm just gonna say as a child I strive to do my best because I did not want to be compared to or related as being a thorn. I also did my best because maybe for attention. And then I would have to think about like what made me strive to be my best for attention. Like was I not getting attention or did I get attention and just maybe wanted more? That's something I really need to think about because I, I think I might have received a lot of attention but now that I think about it oops but now that I think about it I received that attention as a um not as a reward but maybe it was as a reward when I did had recitals and got good grades and you know, it was my birthday, you know, I would get rewarded with cakes, bouquets, um, extra fun stuff, you know. So, yeah, evidence of me striving to do my best um, is I was on the principal's role, in honors role. Um, I took AP classes and majoring in the major that I didn't want to major in. really wanted to be a teacher. And um, I think I was influenced to go to a college. I mean, I, I did apply to multiple colleges and all of the colleges that I wanted to apply for, I got accepted into. But I think I chose one college over another college because I was influenced to do so. So my solution to this is, well, I need to figure out why Why did I strive to do my best? Was I in competition with something? With maybe attention? But maybe I needed to realize that there is no competition. And I just need to be happy with what I have, period. Like, if what I have now is okay for me, I don't need to try to do better for somebody else because I want to make them happy. No, I'm just going to be okay with what I have. And I think I do that to this day now, but over the years I did certain things because of other people. All right, so that's how you do a 5Y analysis. There's like another part to this. I'm not going to dive into this, but it's a report that you will actually type up and um, you'll come up with some key performance indicators to like figure out ways that you would evaluate yourself to figure out if you are 
um, being effective in your solutions. So I know that I have a schedule for going to the gym. So that's part of my part of me making myself a my health a priority. So like I will try to go to the gym at least three to four days a week. I need to focus on my diet, which is being low carb, um, having, you know, being low carb, low fat, uh, fasting, intermittent fasting, sleeping good, making sure I detox weekly, and that means taking like a detox bath, detox max, detox my body, detox my hair, um, and then I need to take time out as much as needed. Like, that's me learning to limit my responsibilities and delegate as needed. If I need a time out, I need a time out. If I don't feel like doing something, I just need to relax and say, hey, there's always tomorrow. There's no, like, who else am I doing something else for? Like, my kids, they're happy, they're taken care of, but what about me? Selfish or self love, okay? And um, I've I'm starting to figure out like there's stuff that I never really really realized that would make me happy but I know it's making me happy now and that includes eating cooking of course eating makes everybody happy but cooking before it felt like a chore but now I'm finding stuff that I really love to cook it is so refreshing for me to do that and then I love tidying up like once I have my routine in order for cleaning for me to keep that up is like a competition or reward for myself. And I love that. And it's self-care. Keeping your house clean is self-care. And um, I do have some people I watch on YouTube to help educate myself when it comes to health. And that is Dr. Berg and D. Monique. I love their videos. They're short. They're simple. They're to the point. But they get a lot of information across. And everything I do according to their videos, I experience a positive result. And yeah, so I'm going to evaluate myself a month from now. So that means on September 8th, I need to look at my weights. I need to look at all the tasks that I'm doing compared to now. And I need to look at my happiness level. Am I happy? Because another thing is like, if I, I feel like if I was to lose weight, I would be happier. But I think if I was to do all of these solutions right here, I should see my happiness indicator, happiness indicator go up some. That's about it. Maybe in, in another video, I will show you this form. It's called a corrective action request form. And I will show you what it, what I, what to do, like as far as typing it up and making it more responsive. Like you want to treat yourself as a customer and as a business. Like what are you, what are you the business going to do to make yourself the customer happy? And this is like what you will give to the customer, and they will look over it and say, "Hey, we we accept this. We'll take this, and we're going to follow up with you in a month and see if you're actually doing what you say you're going to do." Or they might reject and say, "That's not good enough." We feel like we, that is not your root cause. We need you to go deeper and we need you to give out more solutions so we can know that you really mean it. All right. And then at the top, we'll put your recommended solution. Okay. So the recommended solution will be, be all of these, right? But then your latent issues, and I'm not going to cite that in because it's too much to type in, but your latent issues would be other things that you might have noticed about yourself while going through this. Why do I, why am I independent? Why did I strive so hard? Why did I need the attention? You know, um, why did I, why do I feel rewarded and dependent on making other people happy? Am I afraid of being alone? Like maybe those are other things that I need to investigate. And now, you know, I love being alone. <laughs> like there's nothing wrong with me having my alone time, my peace and happiness. And maybe that's something that I realized. Hey, I was depending on making others happy to keep them around. But now, maybe having other people is not a happy thing. You know, some people, they just, they're not here to make you happy, you know? And that's a realization you gotta make. All right, that's it. Hopefully it wasn't too long for you, but you can see how I work, how I walked through a 5Y analysis and applied it to my weight release. And I will be checking in with you and 
utilizing my KPIs, key performance indicators. So I could tell you if I'm on track or if there's something that I need to work on and maybe dive deeper in, who knows? But only time can tell and I'm so glad I finished this first step and I feel such a big relief and um, I just feel like I have a clear picture about why I am the way I am. And But I can change that and you can too. Before I go, I would like for you to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And I will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.